What's up guys, it is Review Edge here and today I'm going to be taking a look at the LiPo voltage detector. Uh, there are many different brands of these. They all do pretty much the same thing if they look like this. Um, so today I'm going to give you a little review but uh, the review part will probably only be about a minute long so I'm also going to give just a quick tutorial about mounting it on my quadcopter. So I'm just going to start out by plugging it into a 3 cell. This is just a Zippy 1300 milliamp. I'm going to show you what this is going to do. So take it and you stick these little prongs into the balanced lead and when you plug it in it should sound the alarm and then it's going to flash through and give you some information so first it'll say all and it's going to give you the total voltage there 11.5 and then it's going to go through cell number one cell number two and cell number three and give you the individual voltage for each one of those cells then it's going to tell you the cell with the highest voltage and what that voltage is and it's going to tell you the cell with the lowest voltage and it'll give you that voltage number so this thing is really useful for making sure you don't damage your lipos because if you overuse it so the voltage goes below uh, somewhere around 3 volts and you're gonna have problems so not only does this tell you the volt but you can also set an alarm and how you're gonna set that is by clicking this little tiny button at the top so I'm just gonna click that now to show you how to set the desired voltage so when you click on that um, if you don't start pushing it again immediately then it's going to go right back to giving you the information about your battery so uh, just need to click on it and as you can see it goes away really quickly so you set that to what you want the alarm to go off when the light bulb reaches that value um, the recommended value is 3.5 volts uh, that's what I have mine set on. Some people will set it as high as 3.7 or some people will go really low like 2.7 but I wouldn't recommend that because by the time you're at 2.7 volts you're gonna have to drop your quad out of the sky if you don't want to damage it. So I'm just gonna show you how to set it to 3.5 so you click it every time you click it it goes up a value until it reaches off then it'll go back down to 2.7 and, and you keep clicking it until it reaches 3.5 now I'm just going to show you a quick clip on putting it on my quadcopter so I put a lot of thought into where I was going to put the detector and I decided to go with actually mounting it on the strap um, I've, I've never seen it done that way but it just made sense for me uh, probably the best spot would have been right here except for I have this Mobius vibration dampener so I can't put it there um, the other place that I thought about putting it that might work is actually on the bottom but that just didn't seem completely functional so I decided not to. What I'm going to use for the actual mounting is some of this scotch double sided tape. I'll have a link in the description to where you can buy some. So I'm not sure how well this really sticks to this velcro strap here. So I'm going to wrap some duct tape around it just to get a completely flat surface. I'm going to do that now. Alright, so I just stuck some duct tape on here. Um, it 
comes up pretty far, but I'm actually going to be mounting this on the end. This is very important. Make sure you do not mount it too high on the strap. Otherwise, you won't be able to slip your battery out. So now I'm going to do the double-sided tape. Just move that over here. And scissors are definitely recommended, but I'm just going to have to use a knife. First, just going to measure how much I need. All right. Just pull out my knife here. And kind of saw it down. Now we can stick this onto the strap. This is just the first side because it still has the red top layer on. So only one sticky side is up. You're just going to want to press it on and firmly hold it for quite a while. Now to make sure I keep this looking nice, I'm going to cut off the edges, the extra bit of tape that I don't need. So now once you've got any extra tape that you don't want on there off, you can go ahead and peel off the red covering. Sometimes this can be a little tough to get. Alright, I got the red part off and I'm going to actually mount this on here now. Just gonna sit here and hold it down for quite a while. And there you go, you've got got this mounted on here. I'm not saying it's the strongest setup, but uh, unless you crash it really bad, it should stay on there for all your normal flying. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on social media and have a great day.